Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Iconic, and in today's video, we're going to talk about Newman projections. So, what are Newman projections? They're nothing more than a fancy way of looking at your molecule. Basically, in Orgo, you are required to know how to go from the standard way of looking at a molecule, molecule, and turn convert into this, and be able to go from back and forth from these two these two ways of looking at, at your molecule. So. Right off the bat, you should know that this is a four carbon molecule with all single bonds, so this is a butane. And the reason why I drew this eye over here is to sh is to tell you that okay, we are looking at butane from the from the second to the third carbon. So we're looking from the second carbon to the third carbon. And the question is, how do we go if I'm looking at my butane from this from this carbon to this carbon? How do we convert it from this to that? And that's exactly what I'm going to show you. So first, let me just... So basically, you should... If you're looking at it from this carbon uh, to the second carbon to the third carbon, you should be able to get this molecule. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So first and foremost, you want to start off by drawing your Y. Uh, I mean, drawing off, drawing your Y. Whether it's like this or it's like this. This is... You, you want to start off by drawing this. Now... The question comes is do you draw the regular Y or do you draw upside down Y? That's when you look at your first carbon, right? So my first carbon is the second carbon and don't look at the wedge or the dash, but rather look at the, you know, look at the third bond and you see it's pointing down, right? It's pointing, so I mean slightly angled, but it's pointing down. So that should tell you, okay, you're going to draw your a regular Y and not this one. If it's pointing up, like in this situation, how you see how it's in this one, how you see it's pointing up, then you would draw that. But since this bond right here is pointing down, then we're going to use the regular Y. So I'm going to just redraw that. So first, you want to start off by drawing your Y. Now, what is at the right here? What is at the bottom of this is a CH3, a methyl group. So you put CH3. That's it. Now, you look to your wedge and your dash. Whenever you have a wedge, you always want to put it on the right side of your Y. So my, at the right side, I have a, a wedge. I have an H. So on the right side, I'm going to put a H. And on the whatever, whenever, wh at whatever atom you have on the dash, that's what you're going to put on the left, left hand side of your Y. So I'm going to put another H. Then you draw your circle. Now you look at your circle. And you see that you have same thing. You have another wedge and a dash. But along with that, you also have a metal group that is pointing up. So right off the bat, you should draw CH3 right here at the top position. And on the right and the left, the same rule applies. Whatever is your wedge, that's going to be on your right. So my wedge, it's a hydrogen. So I'm going to put it on the right. And my dash, it's also another hydrogen. So I'm going to put that on the left. So you can see it's very simple. Just follow this rule that I'm telling you. Whenever you have something, you know, whatever is down, that's going to be down in the first carbon, right? This, so you can imagine this first Y, this is your second carbon. And then the, the ring in the back, that represents your the third carbon. Because we're looking at these two carbons right here. So now what if, let's just, I don't know, let's just change this into a fluorine and let's change this into a chlorine then what would my Newman projection look like well the same rule applies right right in the bottom I have a CH3 so that stays the same on the wedge I have a fluorine so on my right hand side of my Newman projection this should be a fluorine on the left hand side the dash I have a hydrogen so that's good now let's go to the the back this the second carbon that we're looking at I mean the you know the third carbon which is our circle in our Newman projection so at the top place I have a methyl group CH3 that's good and in the front this in the wedge it's a hydrogen so this should be on the right side of my Newman projection hydrogen now the dash it's you know the dash is a chlorine so on the left hand side right here of my Newman projection I should have a chlorine. 
So that's basically how you do a Newman projection. Now also in a Newman projection, you have to know the difference between what is staggered and what is anti. Let me, I'm gonna basically, let me change this back to the regular, regular butane so I can explain to you guys what is staggered and what is anti. So staggered, or I mean, let me write this down, staggered, staggered or eclipsed, my bad, staggered, anti, refers to when in a Newman projection, your most bulkiest groups, in this situation, the two metal groups, right? When they are in the complete opposite poles, we're in the complete opposite sides. This is the staggered anti-conformation of butane. Because the two metal groups, they're in the complete opposite sides. Now, the complete opposite to staggered anti would be eclipsed. Would be eclipsed. And eclipsed is the one is the <coughs> confirm you know is the is the new one projection that has the most steric hindrance. Basically, steric hindrance just refers to when two groups they're trying to occupy the same space. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like. So I'm gonna draw the draw the whole Newman projection over again. Uh, hope you, you guys can see that. All right, I'm gonna draw that again. But in this situation, I'm uh, like this right here, uh, right here, and right here. Imagine this is CH3, hydrogen, hydrogen. All right, so I don't know how well you, okay, you guys can see that somewhat. This is a CH3, and this is also a CH3. The two metal groups. So eclipsed. This in a uh, Newman projection, eclipsed is the is the confirmation that has the most steric hindrance, where two groups, right, they are, are trying to occupy the same space. You can see how these two CHCs they're right next to each other. These two hydrogen they're right next to each other, and these two, you know, hydrogen they're right, right next to each other. So there's so much like interaction between these two guys and over here and over here, right? That they're kind of like, you know, they're kind of like pulling each other apart. So this is known as your eclipse confirmation. And this one has the highest amount of energy. Because of why? Because, you know, these two molecules, they're trying to, you know, they're pulling each other apart. So basically, this is as far as much as you should, you know, the basic of Newman projection. Know how to convert from a regular standard wave to this. And know the difference between staggered, anti. This one is the most stable. This one is the most stable. Because why? And this one has the highest energy. So this one is the most stable because why? There is barely any steric hindrance, right? This CH3 and this H, the, you can see there's a lot of room apart between them. That's why this one is the, was the most stable, you know, and the lowest energy. And this one, this eclipse confirmation, this one has the highest energy and it's the least stable. It's the least stable and is the highest energy because why? Because all these groups, CH3, CH3, A, hydrogen, hydrogen, they're you know they're trying to occupy the same space and there's a lot of steric hindrance. So that's basically it for Newman projections. If you guys have any questions, if you're confused, leave your question in the comment section below and I'll try to reply as soon as I can. Um, until then, I'll see you guys next time.